tricks. This is a tutorial for how to do a chest roll with two hoops. So that looks something like that. So um, we'll get started with that. Basically, the trick with this is to set yourself up like in whatever way um, to do your chest roll and essentially the hoop is going to go, you're going to use your right, you can do this with your left too, but I'm going to demonstrate with my right hand. Um, I'm going to be using my right hand to roll the hoop across my chest and then also to grab it after it's gone over. So your arm is going to kind of follow, um, follow the hoop and you just want to keep the one in your left hand just solidly going around. So get used to doing lots of different things with your right and just keeping the one on the left going. So if you're just starting out, this might take some time to get used to, but um, if you're kind of more seasoned to minis, then you should pick this up pretty quickly. So anyway, um, think about, so when you're doing this, you want to definitely be comfortable with chest rolls and um, want to be able to just kind of do them in any number of ways. I typically, when I do um, the mini's chest roll, I am, here I'm going to put this down for a few minutes so you can see better. Um, I'll just keep this out here. My feet, I usually have one foot out and um, so my hips are turned kind of towards the front, but I still have this arm nice and strong right here. And so what I'm going to do is keep my hips this way and lean back. So it goes like this. So I typically start mine, you can do this any number of ways, but I usually start mine for this, um, my hoop out, and um, I roll the hoop between my thumb and my forefinger. So it goes up my arm and across my chest like this. So put it back. And you see your natural inclination, if you're not used to use doing it with two hoops, is to like grab with your hand, other hand, which is like I just did. But um, what you really want to do is keep this hand strong and um, engage with your other hoop, and then allow your right hand to follow and grab. So let's do this again. <laughs> but you'll see that um, as I'm going over, as soon as the hoop comes, oh, as soon as the hoop comes onto my chest, I'm immediately bringing this over. And my chest does turn slightly, but um, you just want to keep in mind that as soon as the hoop is done rolling across your arm and comes onto your chest, you want to come and grab here. So just try without your other hoop doing this and kind of catching it. So you'll see that I kind of turn in a, circ a little bit of a circle too. And you can also do it that way. So like that. Just get comfortable with this kind of motion. And then you can work on um, doing two at once. So just like that. And you'll notice also that the hoop is usually not really touching my right arm that much. It generally just kind of goes straight onto my chest. But you still get that chest roll effect. You really want to focus on getting it to roll across you can. But I think um, if you just want that effect, you can kind of just like let it happen. So as you're starting to, as you're first starting to um, figure out this move, you know, just focus on being able to get it across and grabbing it. And don't worry about anything else. Because with time, you'll um, finesse it and you'll figure out ways of getting out of it. So I'll go over a couple of ways that I like to. So something like this, and then going into um, crossed arms and the hoops going opposite directions. Um, my usual one is to do something like that. So you can go like that. 
Usually I do flip it just because it gives me an advantage of having my hand on the inside. Um, you can do kind of like a flip thing. Um, anyway, the possibilities are um, pretty endless. So this can also work with any size hoops. It doesn't have to be minis. You can do this with larger hoops as well. So don't mind, but anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that and that you've got you know some new tricks to add to your repertoire and happy hooping.